Well, hey, welcome to the week. How are you? Good morning. I know I'm kind of editing or shooting this kind of late at night. I wanted to get it to you before the beginning of the week. It's pretty late on Sunday night, so I just wanted to make sure I got this to you Monday morning before you guys are up and at them. So um, I wanted to do a twin flame reading for you guys, and this is for um, this is let's just see where we go. Let's just see where we go. Okay, I've got some ideas thinking about the Leo full moon and just the expansive nature of it, feeling about you know the full moon about being seen. Leo to me is about being seen. And when we're talking about twin flames here, the energy of being seen by the other, right? There's some mirroring energy in that statement that I just said. And there's also some energy of being seen, someone who really sees you, who really gets you. Okay. So sandpiper spirit, be, be playful. Bat spirit, a rebirth is assured. We're coming into, wow, dragonfly spirit, truth transcends illusion. So I'm feeling, I'm feeling a little bit here for you guys like this is an incredible week. We are De uh, December, listen to me, February um, 10th through the 14th. Valentine's Day is at the end of this week. Um, some of you have been, uh, some of you who I have been talking with about uh, being in union with your twin and what is going on with that and how you manage that. I have learned quite a bit uh, from my own experience of being in union with twin that um, I'm sort of just now opening up to this mission, to mission, okay? That's where that's where things really seem to be the rubber hits the road here okay and for me this experience i don't i i mean i can't even, i don't know how to explain it to you um i probably haven't really talked that much about this but i'm going to so in union with twins since last summer early last fall and the things I've been learning there has been um, there have been definitely several times of not runner chaser but you know sort of like this okay and what I have learned my own personal experience to share with you is you know the wonderful feeling the bubble love feeling and all of that and then when that sort of becomes the norm how you can sort of it feels like almost like a melting down into the most basic connection of the two and you really see yourself so raw so um, all of the things that you try to hide about yourself <laughs> um, you're really seeing and the other person sees so easily it's not even like a thing there's no no hiding that right so the energies this week that I'm talking about are about getting closer, closer to mission, okay? Moving in that direction of what you're here to do. And I want to do some videos about um, numerology and astrology and looking at your numbers together, looking at joint mission, looking at North Node in terms of joint mission. Um, we are going to do, yes, I have set up some more classes for North Node and Advanced North Node. Your North Node of your um, astrology chart is the mission, your own personal mission, and then the joint mission between you and the twin. We're going to talk about that. I have a special North Node class for twins. If you want to sign up for that, um, there is a link below. Some of the things that I'm also learning about is having to do with past lives. Okay, having to do with your past life as you're dealing with your twin is starting to sort of well up and come out of you. I want to talk with you about past lives and twins uh, and how to see that in your astrology. So I will be making some videos um, about those things. 
kind of different from the videos I normally make. I'm used to having a deck in my hand, just saying. So I'm seeing that my challenge is to be able to communicate to you because right now I'm, I intuitively channel. When I do my readings, I intuitively channel. Yes, do I come to the table with an idea? Yes, I do. But, but it's always based in, all right, what's next in the twin? What's the information? What's the energy of the twin energy or the twin mission or the twin path that I need to get across to you today? And the Leo full moon, just that real expansiveness. Where is Leo in your astrology chart? Okay, that's what you're going to want to look at because that's the thing that's expanding. Okay, Leo in my chart is in the 10th house. It is my midheaven. It is my career expanding, right? Expanding, getting seen. Okay, and there can be a lot of issues around being seen. Okay, whether it's from the twin energy of wow. They really see like all of the bumps and lumps and craziness and insecurity and they just know it. It's just not even a thing. There's no filter here. None. So when you have when you're that naked um, in front of another human being, especially when it's so the energy of it is so uh, large, it can be kind of daunting. It, it is like Cosmos Moon cosmos moon in moonstruck and i happened just happened to watch that movie last night um and in the leo full moon of course right that's a twin flame story that's absolutely a twin flame story so i'm getting total chills talking about that so i want to share with you uh, i'm going to do a little reading for this week there is a rebirth coming this week um cosmos moon <laughs> Cosmos Moon. I thought it was going to crush the house. So the rebirth is assured. So let's look and see what's going on here. For some of you who have been in union with twin, uh, they could have taken off or they could have been become um, unavailable to you for some reason. Underneath is Virgo energy of slow movement. Boy, you got that right, huh? slow movement there's the leo energy of sun right here and sun and moon naturally one day follows the night just like the twin follows the other twin okay two of wands four of pentacles five of pentacles emperor right in the center chariot page of pentacles i'm sorry page of cups magician three of pentacles so we're coming from this place of you doing your thing and I'm doing my thing. What's coming out here is the ability to work together. So one of you may, you, this is very strong energy here. All right, the sun and the emperor. Woo, okay. Right, uh, Leo and Aries energy. The sun and the, the strong energy, the emperor. The chariot and the magician, right? These are extremely strong archetypes of manifestation, of moving forward, energy of moving forward, of being the one in the spotlight. This twin, this whoever I'm talking to right now, uh, this is about mission. This is also your mission has to do with uh, somehow being seen very public mission and I feel like you both may feel you both may have been holding back you both may have been feeling uh, weird about money or weird about um, where is money coming from you both even though you're super powerful okay even though you are the Sun and the Emperor there's a decision being made to hold back. It's something about becoming public. Something about being seen. That we're being seen together. All right. And there's a reason why there may be an issue around that. Okay. I do feel like some of you are in third party situations. 
And so there's a lot of holding back here. All right, there's a lot of holding back. Yes, Ace of Wands, Five of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. What will our families think? Uh, and, and there's a lack of being, there's a decision-making process that is needing to happen here. I'm going to do this. Um, there's some kind of decision needing to be made about going public. Lovers, the Gemini energy, King of Pentacles, Empress, Death. Wow. Okay. Um, there's big choices here. Hold on. One more thing. Yes. Okay. Knight of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Oh my goodness. Look at all these. Uh, of course. Okay. So you guys are setting off on a new path here and I feel like you have been going very slowly because of other people. What are other people going to think? All right. What are other people going to, how are other people going to accept this? There's a lot of worry about that. So I feel like you might, you might be the one who wants to sort of jump in. Okay. Uh, you might be the one who wants to just, let's go. What's the big deal? Um, two of wands, but then, but then there's this kind of, uh, I don't want to get labeled as kind of a player or as somebody who, if this person, if your person, um, was in relationship and is making a choice to be not in that relationship anymore, you don't want to be labeled. Okay. There's big, big time. No, no, I don't want to be labeled. I would like your family to like me. All right, so Nine of Pentacles and Ten of Cups. There's going to be some kind of single for a while thing here. There's got to be. All right, and so there's this holding back. Um, the other of you is holding back for a financial reason. Um, really uh, unclear about how to move forward. The Emperor and the Chariot wants to move forward quickly, just like you, but then there's this Five of Pentacles. Okay, and the realization of the ooh that make that you know, if we move forward too fast, there may be some kind of financial penalty to pay here. So, um, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to have this new beginning. Um, have this new beginning, but it's going to have to follow proper channels, okay? There's going to need to be, there's single and single. I'm going to need to be single and you're going to need to be single. There, the, I have to be able to make this decision, okay? I have to, you know, this is you here, I feel, the um, Empress and the King of Pentacles. This person, the twin, is really going to have to make the decision. All right. And it's going to be a big transformation. There's some reason. I feel like this, your twin could be connected to a Cancerian or water sign. Scorpio Cancer here. There's threes here. There's threes here. Plus there's that Knight of Wands. So I feel like you don't want to be seen as the player or the one who is... Um, the, the reason why something is bro breaking up. This transformation is happening though. Okay, back spirit, a rebirth is assured. And the next thing that comes out is the 22, right? Talk about numerology. 22 is a master number. The dragonfly spirit, truth transcends illusion. So you're going to need to make some kind of illusion. Magician is illusion, right? And it could be around like, hmm. You're going to have to make some kind of illusion about your relationship. There's going to need to be something like that. I see definitely family is involved here. All right, so one of you could be a teacher 
teaching the other's children or and that's your relationship or one of you is you know a sports coach there's something here about a different kind of relationship that allows you to spend time together uh, so that other people don't label the situation but I honestly feel like the energy is so strong I don't know how you're gonna get away with that okay so you're in union with this person this is a this is a situation of other things are falling away other things are ending it's just taking an awfully long time I do feel like by March because this is uh, Emperor Aries okay March I do feel like the time we hit spring things will be able to move forward but right now it's like everybody else is watching the families are watching the friends are watching you their friends are watching them because it's breaking up this other thing is breaking up this other life that they had is breaking up and uh, so everybody's like hmm watching and waiting to see if there's a third party that's gonna come out of the woodwork okay I feel like I feel like they know they know that there is a third party they know that there is somebody I don't know that they have any experience or any proof of it and I feel like you your position is like well what's the big deal you know like it's breaking up anyway and you know we're meant to be together and everything and I feel like this person is that your twin is going to hold off all right I feel like they're gonna hold off it's their decision that they want something that will be honored by family they want that they want other family members to accept you they want people to like you they don't want people to always be like oh well that's the reason they broke up no the reason they broke up is other stuff okay I feel like for you um, I do feel like you don't want to be labeled okay you don't want to be labeled as a player or as somebody who messed up their marriage or something like that I feel like you don't want to have that label so you're willing to do this you're willing to hold back um, they're willing to hold back I do think there's something to do with money too for the Emperor the Emperor is a little less um, uh, they do want their family to like you but it's also there's money involved if something happens then they're gonna get um, some big money taken away from them okay they don't want that so while this is transforming there's a little bit of an apology but there is an illusion you're creating an illusion um, in how you are being together you are being together in some way You are being together in some way. Justice, Moon, Seven of Cups, Ace of Swords. So, it's, it's interesting. It's like the thing that's being hidden is the truth. The thing that's being shown, the, the, the illusion you're creating is not the truth. But that's what everybody wants. That's what everybody needs to see so that... Uh, things can move forward so you're kind of like dealing with other people's needs wants desires <coughs> whoopsie hopes dreams um, and you're you're kind of knuckling under to this public opinion kind of a thing but I do feel like there's a purpose for that I feel like there's a reason for that because there is leadership that's going to be required by this connection and you're going to need them to follow you you're going to need them to be on your side if you start out in a way that is going to be difficult uh, for this person or for you who's ever whoever is in the midst of a divorce or in the midst of something if you're doing that it will have long-standing 
consequences, okay? What's needing to happen here is, yes, you're creating some confusion. You're creating some illusion around this connection. I feel like you both believe that that's the right thing to do. Um, I truly think that. Even though I feel like you're kind of more along the lines of, I don't understand. Let's just, let's just be together. What's the big deal? You're getting divorced. Um, I think the emperor would be fine with that. But I also think that they, the, the masculine's energy here is much more about having, being looked up to by their children. They want that. They don't want to seem like they're unseemly. They don't want it to be sullied. They want this, because this is like the emperor and the empress, okay? You guys are like a power couple. And I feel like the divine masculine here who is resisting is resisting because they believe it's the right thing for the couple. They believe it's the right thing so that when, because you're going to need to be in leadership in some way. And you know, when you're trying, when you're being the guide for other people, it's not, uh, it's something that need to let this die of a, a, a natural death. And yes, can there be a relationship? Yes, that can there be feelings? All of those things happen. But there can't be couplehood right now. But soon. March. Soon. I mean, that's not even, it's a month away for, for Aries. And then, I, then you'll be able to tell the truth and cut through the confusion and the fear and all of this and tell the truth after that divorce is over. Okay? You got to wait. You just got to wait. This is about proclaiming the connection to the world, sharing the information of the connection, coming out, coming out together in a powerful way. And that's what the masculine wants to facilitate. So let's see where we go. I definitely see I see a lot of Scorpio energy here. I see Leo energy, the Leo full moon. I want to be seen. I want to have everybody see us. And I feel like that's coming, but I also feel like the, the divine masculine is resisting that. I feel like for good reason. All right, so we'll see where we go. But anyway, so good morning to you. Um, if you'd like to continue on with me, um, Please do. Otherwise, have a wonderful week. There's a good reason why the masculine is resisting coming out right now. Okay? All right. Links for you. I'll see you later.